Record better audio anywhere with Motive Digital Microphones from Shure. Easy to use options like the MV88 plug directly into your phone or computer and include a free app. Create studio quality sound for podcasts, music, and videos. Visit Shure.com to learn more. Blog Talk Radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? And you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and influenced. And influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette, Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but guess what? Heard all across the world, wide web. We are super excited to have all of those that are joining us uh, that are coming on in. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Welcome to those that are joining us from Twitter and uh, Facebook and Instagram and, of course, Charvette.com and all of our broadcasts stations and of course we can't leave out those that are listening from my mobile app yes 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 you can download my mobile app for free just go to any of your app stores and look for Charvette and you'll get it all right so let me tell you about today's show I am super excited you know you all know I'm, I say I'm super excited all the time but I'm telling you I'm super excited today So we're going to be kicking the top of the hour out. My guest is hanging out in the virtual green room right now, just ready to come up to the mic to speak to you guys. We're going to be talking to actor, director, stuntman, motivational speaker, Derek Simmons. Oh, my goodness. Uh, You can see him. He's currently featured uh, the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film. He also recently shot the television series Gotham and a new series called Falling Water. Uh, His other credits include The Good Wife, Blue Bloods, Blacklist, Orange is the New Black. Y'all know y'all binge watch that all in one night. Y'all know y'all did. Don't try to act like you didn't. Uh, And many, many more. But what is so amazing is that he is, he's here to talk to us today about his recently released DVD. Yes, nobody's perfect. You're going to get to hear all about it right here on the Charvette Mitchell um, radio show. He wrote this. He directed it. He produced it. He's starring in it. Uh, nobody's perfect, which is available uh on uh, Amazon and also iTunes VOD uh, right now. So you're going to get to hear all about that. But listen, our second segment is phenomenal as well. I am tickle pink to have Richmond's own right here from Richmond, Virginia. Kia Potts is joining us. She is a health and wellness coach, and we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things. Listen, she has a book out talking about how to eat right on the go. Uh, she's going to give you some tips for this summer. You know what? We're in the last part of the summer. How do you get yourself together? Taking the stairs, all of that. Going to give us some great tips for finishing out the summer strong, going into the fall, uh, and just your overall wealth, your overall health, and your overall wellness. Uh, you're going to hear all about that in the second segment with Kia Potts. So, What I want you to do is jump on Twitter, jump on Facebook, wherever you're hanging out, Uh, Instagram, Periscope, all of that. Tell them where you're listening to. Tell them to join you right now on the Charvette Mitchell radio show. So, again, we're uh, going to the virtual green room to bring my first guest up here. I'm really honored and excited to have uh, Derek Simmons joining us, and we're not going to belabor it. We're going to bring him up to the mic right now. Live on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, Derek Simmons, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. It feels good to be here. Yes, 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 yes. So glad to get a chance to chat with you. Uh, I am telling you what, with all of the things that you're doing, I'm glad we just grabbed a grabbed a few minutes. But I'd love to have <laughs> I'd love to have you share with the listeners kind of how all of how all of this started for you. When did the the acting bug bite you? Okay, the acting bug bit me at a very young age. It started when I was 10 years old. And, um, oh, wow. I attended junior high school performing arts, and an agent saw me in a, in a showcase and said, how would you like to do a commercial? And I said, sure. So he sent me out on an audition for a Burger King commercial. And uh-huh. I booked it. And at the time, it was, it was the first breakdance bur- commercial ever on TV. 
So um, wow. it, it starts me and Stacey Dash. <laughs> we were both kids. Wow. Amazing, and so that's when it all started. So, um, when did you get like your first, where you were doing some actual, you know, doing acting with a, a full part and all of that? Right. I, um, I think a couple of years later, I started doing films. Uh, my first movie, my first film was Enemy Territory, and um, after after that film, then I started doing TV shows in New York. And I used to get pulled out of pulled out of scenes while I was shooting, and, and I said, "How can you pull me out?" And they said, "We got to bring in a stunt double." And I used to say, "I can do my own stunts. I can do my own stunts," and uh-huh. they wouldn't give me a shot uh, because everyone says they can do their own sh- stunts until uh, you know the time comes. So I kept networking with the stunt guys or whatever. Um, a couple of years later, I booked a role on on uh, New York Undercover, and uh, they ca- they called me in to do a stunt, but it was for myself. So they had to give me a break. They said, it's Derek Simmons. Let him do his own stunt. And once I did my own stunt in that, it took off. Word started getting around. Derek Simmons, Derek Simmons, Derek Simmons. And I got hot. And you got hot. I and I mean, of, I got hot. Oh, my yeah, God. I got hot. Yes. I mean, it's so many. You have done, um, been, uh, you know, stunt man, stunt double, and so many. I mean, the you know, the purge, election year, like House of Cards, Limitless, right. Sisters. I mean, like, the list just goes on and on and on of, you know, right. so the, so explain to our listeners, then, like, what's involved in being a stunt man? Uh, preparation. You know, there's, there's a, you know, stunts are dangerous. And um, yeah. a lot of people want to become stunt players or they'll look and say, oh, that looks like fun. But when you're standing in front of a car coming at you at 30 miles an hour, can you stay there and take the hit? Most people can't. Whoa. You know, right. so, uh, it's, so, you know, uh, each a lot of stunt people, they specialize in different things, uh, uh, whether it's fights, uh, falls, fire, um and it comes from different backgrounds or whatever. If you have a gymnastics background or, or a karate, a martial arts background, you know, it helps. But uh, it's, it's a lot of training. Amazing. And do you specialize in a certain area? I, I, I do pretty much everything except for swim with sharks and wrestle alligators. <laughs> so I, Swim with sharks I, and Russell alligators. Those are the two things I, I'll say no to. Everything else, you know, uh, set me on fire. I'll jump off bridges. I'll jump out of moving cars. I'll get hit by cars. Um, you name it, I do it. Um, and, and I love it. This I love amazing. it. I'm, I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. Living your dream. And yeah. so what's the day in the life of Derek Simmons? What's an average, like, what's an average day in the life, uh, you know, of your, <laughs> your acting and stunt double and all of that? Yeah. Now, a lot of people, you know, I wanted to mention, uh, I, I did the movie Precious. I was Precious stunt double in the movie. Get out and, of here. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I, it was directed by Lee Daniels and, uh, you know, I wore a fat suit, wig, earrings, and I had a baby in my head. Well, it was a doll, and I fell down the flight of stairs backwards for her. And, you know, it was, it, I, I just get to meet all kinds of people, and, and I'm put in great situations, and and it's just wonderful. Uh, um, well, I am telling you, that is, I mean, that's amazing to actually, you know, to talk to someone, because most people might think, okay, to be a stuntman, you got to be a little, is the, is, is the rocker off a little bit? Are you, uh, is there something a little <laughs> missing yes, yes. to put now, yourself now, in harm's yes. way? <laughs> I got you. You know, and there's a difference, because they have stuntmen and then they have daredevils. Daredevils, okay. they're a little off their rockers. They, you know, um, stuntmen, they pretty much calculate everything. <laughs> If, if I know that I can jump five feet and they say, okay, can you jump from this building to that building? And they, I say, well, how, what's the distance? If they tell me it's four feet, I know I can jump it. But a daredevil will just look. He won't ask. He'll say, yeah, yeah, I can do it, not knowing whether he can do it or not. So, uh, you know, it, it's dangerous if it's done wrong, but if you know what you're doing, <laughs> you won't get hurt. You won't get hurt. You won't get hurt. All right. And so in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the film, which I saw, by the way, uh-huh. uh, where, yeah. what, what part were you in that uh, the listeners could, you know, know and remember? 
Now, I haven't seen the movie yet. You know, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm in the commercial, and I'm the airplane pilot. Uh, they attack the plane, and uh, I get ejected out. And like I said, I haven't seen it, but I have plenty of friends that call me up and say, "You were great. We love, we love what you did in the movie." And, <laughs> and and now I do hear uh, some actors and and the like say they don't like to go back and look at their work. Like once it's all put together, they they say, "I don't want to go back and look at what I've done." Or is it more just a time a time issue? No, it's probably a time issue. I mean, I like to see my work. I don't make time to see my work. That's the problem. And, and it's a good thing because I'm I'm always busy. I'm always working. So, you know, when things come out, you know, people are, oh, I saw you on this show last night. And I'm like, what show? And they'll say, um, <laughs> Blind Spot. And I'm like, which episode? Uh-huh. Because I've done maybe five or six of them. <laughs> you know, so I, I got to find out what it is. But most of the times that I don't get to watch myself on TV unless – I'm just, I just happen to be watching TV and it comes on and I say, oh, great, there it is. There it is. There so, I am. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, listeners, if you just tuned in, we're chatting it up here uh, with Derek Simmons, a yes, 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 actor, director, stuntman, uh, motivational speaker, and you are tuned in to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. All right. So let, let's talk about actually your motivational uh, speaking hat, if you will. Uh, when did you get into doing some of the motivational speaking? Well, I started doing career day for um, – you know, you got to put back into the community. So yeah. I go to different schools at the end of the year, um, junior high schools and high schools, and I talk to the students just to let them know, you know, and I usually go to the urban neighborhoods, you know, where it's a little bit less self-esteem and they're not, um, they're, they're not exposed to other avenues that they can pursue besides for playing NBA basketball. <laughs> you know? Right. And right. I expose them to the entertainment industry, and I talk to them, and and I give them hope, and uh, you know I spread the I spread the word. And what I love is that you have you know different options. So it's it's you can talk about directing, you can talk about acting, you can talk about stuntman, you can talk about so you you're showing different options and avenues of how they can get into Hollywood. Exactly across the board. Across the board. So let's and and the fact that I'm living my dream. I'm making a living, living my dream, and I'm happy. You know, people love to see that energy. Absolutely, and and that is makes a huge difference uh, uh, that you are able to live your dream and you're consistently working. Like you are consistently, consistently working uh, at what you're doing, and so then you added something else to your plate. So let's let's talk about your DVD. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. And as I mentioned earlier, listeners, um, you know, written by him, directed, produced. You appear in it. Uh, So how did this birth? How did this come about? Okay, this movie is my baby. This this movie oh. is it's, it has so much substance in it. It, it means so much. Um, the backdrop is domestic violence. Um, I did two I did two films before Nobody's Perfect. I did a film called Jump Off, which was a comedy about you know guy players, and then I I came back with another film years later called Women Do It Better, and it was about how women are better players than men when it comes to relationships, both comedies. So Mm -hmm. after that, I wanted to do something serious. Nobody's Perfect is my first serious dramatic film. And uh, it's about a woman who meets the man of her dreams. They quickly fall in love. Once they get married, her perfect dream turns into a nightmare. Um, Mm. And it's an action. It's a suspense thriller. It's it's an action. action Suspense thriller. My goodness. People, uh, people, go how the see this movie. Turn. <laughs> yes, see this movie. It, you, it is so you good. You need to pick um, this or, up. Yes. Right. Pick it up. Um, check out the reviews. I, I'm very proud of the reviews so far. You know, it's, it's, I've been getting great ratings, and it's a must-see. Nobody's perfect in Derek Simmons' film. It's a must-see. And so the storyline, so we've got, we've got Sasha, uh, you know, it is the young woman who meets Morgan. So tell us about Sasha's personality. Just that, describe Sasha's personality. Well, Sasha's a, a free spirit, um, kind of naive. You know, she just lives life. And she's, she's a free spirit woman who, who's going through 
her, you know, struggles because of her mom's illness. And uh, she meets this guy, Morgan, who has the perfect lifestyle and perfect image. And uh, two months later after she meets him, they fall in love and they get married in two months. And then everything goes downhill. Um, I, I kind of show, because uh, domestic violence, the backdrop is, is, is domestic violence, but it also, the movie has, it has so many messages in it, and it shows how you can get out of it, domestic violence. It also shows that domestic violence is a cycle. It's not just something, you know, some mean person who just loses it. You know, it's a cycle. Right, right. It, it comes from somewhere, whether it comes from a childhood, um, you know, watching your parents, and they see it, and they grow up, and they think that's acceptable. That's the way it's supposed to be. So if anyone who sees this movie, they will understand or anybody who's been through domestic violence, which the ratings are, it's one out of three women in America have been victims of domestic violence. My goodness. And so you decided to tackle this, really this topic, which is a very serious topic. Um, and, very. and did you have any kind of restraint or any feeling like, mm, maybe I should go another direction? Well, you know, anything like that? Right. Well, you know, when, when I started the film, I truly, I didn't know how deep it was. Like, because I, I didn't experience domestic violence. I grew up in a household where I didn't see domestic violence. I had both, both of my parents were there. I saw alcoholism, but I didn't see domestic violence. So when I started, you know, doing my research on, the, on domestic violence before the movie, you know, I really dug deep and deep and found out so much about it, and I would talk to people. And, and women, you know, I can talk to five women, and two of them would say, yeah, you know, I went through that, or my friend is going through that now. And it was mm-hmm. like, okay. So... To tackle it, I'm glad I did, and I learned so much from it, and I definitely want to want to spread the word. I know my my movie has a a strong message, and it it just it teaches people also. It's not just a movie, but you, you learn from it, and I have a lot of stats in it at the end, and it's a great it's a great film. I'm not just saying it because I'm the writer, director, producer. And star right. of the film. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's okay. Listen, you can toot your own oh, horn. You I, I, can, one more you can thing. One more thing about that. Yes. The actors that I casted in the film, they are, I mean, they were awesome. I mean, oh, tell talent, us about you know, from, top, from top to bottom, from top to bottom, um, I had auditions in, in New York, Times Square, and the exact, uh, I would say maybe four or 500 actors came out and auditioned for the film, and I, I picked the top of the top. And they they really did a great job. Um, uh, you know, casting is is so important. So, yeah. So I tell w- us about who you cast in, uh, in this and in the actors that are playing in this. Okay. So I have a uh, uh, there's there's, uh, there's Sasha. Now um, it was my first time seeing her. You know, this this was her first film. Um, oh my goodness. Her, her name is Lex, Lexi Mola, and. Uh, she, she wrecked. You know, she did a she did a great job. I I think I saw maybe fifty fifty women for her part, and and she you know stood out and you know like she really did a thing at the audition. So I, I'm proud. I was proud to cast her in the movie. And then I had another. Um, there's another actor called Don Wallace. He lives in L.A. now. Um, he's been out for a long time. Um, I I've known him for for a long time, but this guy is a very seasoned actor. He is. Incredible, and he played her, her gay best friend in the movie, and it's just, it's it's so believable. Wow. Um, then I have Ricky Ayala. Now Ricky Ayala is the son of Danny Ayala. I don't know whether you saw it, do the right thing. Uh, Danny Ayala is yeah. Sal, the restaurant, uh, the pizza owner. So his son is Ricky Ayala. Um, do the right thing was the first movie he did. He was the uh, cop that killed Radio Raheem by choking him to death. Wow. So I, I just had I had a great cast. Everybody was friendly. We we had a lot of fun doing the movie and and I have so much more to come. I mean I, I wrote about fifteen more scripts, different genres and you know, I look forward to doing them. So how long does it take you to write a one script? Um you know, I, I write more than one script at a time. I take fifteen minutes a day. And I sit down and write. 
So, um, you know, some days I'm in the mood a horror. Some days I'm in the mood uh-huh. to write an action. And some days... So whatever I'm feeling for that 15 minutes that I put aside for writing, that's what I write. So it could take me, you know, once I'm focused on the movie, it can take me about two months. All right. So there you go. Some writers that are hanging out that may be listening, listening in. There you go. There you go. And so how can listeners get a hold, get their hands on a Nobody's Perfect DVD? Okay. So for the, to get the DVD, you have to go to my website. Derek Simmons Filmworks dot com. That's D E R R I C K S I M M O N S F I L M Works W O R K S dot com. Um, you can buy the physical D- DVD from my website. I have a I have a store on on the page. And if you want to see the DLD, you can go to Amazon, uh, uh, Xbox iTunes, and I believe Hulu, too. So, um, oh, wonderful. Lots of options. Yeah, lots of options. Uh, make no excuse. See, see this movie. It's worth it. You will talk about it. You will recommend it to friends if you see it. All right. We want to support listeners. Support, support, support. Okay. And so social media, I love you. You know, you're on social media. How can people connect with you on social media? Right, yes. Yeah. Great. So my social media, uh, Facebook, um, it's Derek Simmons NYC. Well, that's, yeah. Facebook is Derek Simmons NYC. Uh, Twitter is Derek Simmons, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-S-I-M-M-O-N-S. Instagram is Derek Simmons, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-S-I-M-M-O-N-S. And uh, what else? What else? We got Twitter, <laughs> we got Instagram, yeah. we got Facebook. But I'm on Facebook every day. I, I leave a, a positive message on Facebook every day. If somebody sends me a message, I reply to every single message. So uh, I'm hands-on. Hands-on, so accessible. Need... Yes. Wow. Okay, that that is now that's that is really phenomenal. Um to be accessible to fans and those that are that are following you. Uh and so what is what else is up the pike? What's around the corner down the road for you coming up? Okay, today I, I filmed a T a ABT a ABC T V show called Time After Time. And oh. it's about Jack the it, it's a series about Jack the Ripper, uh and a time sh- a time machine who comes to New York in 2016, and it's looking real good. We shot it today. I got out a half an hour before the interview, so I'm glad I was able to make it. Oh, and, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, that, that's going to be good. Uh, what else? I, I'm, a, I'm going into pre-production for my next movie, probably the end of September. And it's a movie called A.K.A. My Love. It's a uh, dramatic love story. Oh, so we have to and keep our eye open for that. Absolutely. So uh, tune in. I, I, you, you're going to see a lot of Derek Simmons. And there's one more thing that I, I always forget. Now, I have a record label for my movie soundtracks. Oh, okay. Fat, yes, it's called Fat Tune Recordings. And that's P-H-A-T, Fat Tune Recordings. Um, we uh, I just dropped the mute the, the soundtrack for the um the the movie, and I have one one artist signed so far, Lakonda Davies, and she can sing. I mean, she's she's the bomb. So you, right. you're gonna be hearing a lot of her stuff in the near future. And are you looking for other artists for your label? I am definitely looking for talented artists for the label. Okay, and what genre are you looking for? What types of is it R and B? Is it soul? Is it yeah, uh, R and B, soul, um, pop, uh, hip hop. No, I'm going to say hip hop. I'm not going to say hardcore hip hop, but yeah, okay, hip hop. Um, pretty much a little bit of everything. Uh, I, okay. I might even you know next year I want to I might even open a gospel, um, you know side of the label so we can put our gospel music. 
Oh, okay. So we have a lot of aspiring artists that listen. Yes, God is great. And certainly he has been able to bless all of us. And certainly you you appear to have blessings that have been coming your way uh, for all of these, you know, these works that you've been able to be a part of. And so I know we have a lot of aspiring artists that listen. So if they are interested in in the music label, where do they go for information to to connect with Uh, you? Now they can, they can catch me on my social media page, or they can go to the the record label site, which is fattunerecordings dot com. That's p h a t tune recordings dot com, and uh, shoot me an email with with their song, uh, their package, picture, you know, the work website. Let's see what they got. All right, show them what you got. Show them what you got right there. Personal invitation from actor, director, stuntman, Derek Simmons. Well, I'm telling you what, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Just really honored to have you be able to stop by the Charvette Mitchell radio show. And we're just wishing you much more success on the DVD. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Pick it up. My last question for you, the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence. And we want to know what continues to motivate you. I just feel I have so much to give. <laughs> I, I feel I have yeah. so much to give, and um, I, I, don't, I can't say what motivates me. I, I just have all this energy, and and it's just what I see that's out there. It's not enough. So I'm pumped, and and I'm I'm ready to go. Raring to go. Well, listen, I think that's it. It sounds like something is driving you and pushing you, and you are along for the ride. So that's that's motivation there. That is motivation there. Well, Derek, thank you so much again for stopping by the show. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Truly oh, a pleasure. you are welcome. You are welcome. All right, listeners, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then after the commercial break, we're going to be back for our second segment. Uh, We're going to be chatting it up with Richmond's own Kia Potts, uh, Wealth Health Wellness Coach. We're going to be giving you tips, talking about how to finish the summer out strong, uh, eating right on the go, and all that good stuff. So you want to keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette will be back after this. Hello, we are 123jobzone.com, an online job search portal. We are user-friendly, and if you're searching for a job, with us, it's easy as 123. Step 1, go to www.123jobzone.com and register as a job seeker. Step 2, once registered, upload your resumes. Step 3, Get connected with employers looking for people like you who are ready and willing to work. Don't forget to follow 123 Job Zone on Twitter and Facebook to find out more about our upcoming job fairs. What are you waiting for? Stop by 123jobzone.com today. Good luck with your job search. Introducing contemporary gospel artist Diani with the new hit debut single title, The Blood on Remir Records. Oh, they slay me, crucify me. I have been washed in the blood I'm reading. Purchase Diani's new hit single on iTunes, Amazon, in February. Once again, be sure to check out contemporary gospel artist Diani with the new hit debut single title, The Blood, on Remir Records. Follow Diani on Twitter, Facebook, by going online to dianimusic.com. That spells D E O. N I M U S I C dot com. That's Diani Music dot com. Spiritual Food for Thought. 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day by LaTanya Boyd consists of inspirational messages that offer daily words of empowerment promote spiritual growth and development in the Lord Jesus Christ for your day-to-day living. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day. Available now on Kindle, ebook, and paperback. Log on to www.letiboyd.com. Does your church or ministry have a website? Are you a local artist or author that has an established web presence? If you answer no to any of these questions, you're letting countless opportunities pass you by. 
Hi, I'm Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell Productions was created with your needs in mind. We will provide you with stylish and economical online marketing solutions. From email marketing to your own website, Mitchell Productions caters to ministries, nonprofits, small businesses, and special events. Check out our portfolio at Mitchell-Productions.com. In today's world, a website is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And Mitchell Productions can create your website in a stylish manner at a very economical price. Don't let business, customers, or new congregation members pass you by. Visit Mitchell Productions today at www.Mitchell-Productions.com. Let us showcase your organization to the world. Industry Buzz with 3Gs.com. Join in today on the movement to bring integrity back to media. With one click of a button, you can disseminate your information right from Industry Buzz to all your favorite social sites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and to your email contact. Maximize your vision today. Plus, get the latest news, entertainment, and media. Need fashion or makeup tips? Looking for a job? Connect with us today. Want to connect with other business visionaries? Connect with us today. This site is for everyone from teens to music lovers. From businessmen and women, industry professionals and performers. As a member of Industry Buzz with 3Z, you'll gain help promoting your vision. Industry Buzz with 3Zs will expose, expand, and keep your fan base up to date with all your happening. Members also receive free or discounted perks from various sponsored companies. So join the social network, expand, and stabilize your business. Connect with like-minded individuals. Need an artist to minister at your upcoming event? Look on Industry Buzz. Have a voice and submit your article to our e-magazine. Industry Buzz with 3Zs is the place to globalize your vision. Establish it today. Be heard. It's all on IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading author, gospel artist, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back again to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world wide web. We are excited. Uh, our last segment there featured actor, director, stuntman, uh, Derek Simmons. Check him out um, online. Check him out Twitter. You can check out uh, his his extensive, extensive um, career. So we were really excited that we had a chance to talk to him about his recently released DVD, uh, Nobody's Perfect. Uh, but we are transitioning and moving right on into our next segment. And my next guest is hanging out in the virtual green room. So I know she's enjoying some virtual snacks while she is in there. We're going to be chatting it up here with Kia Potts uh, all the way from Richmond, Virginia Health and Wellness Coach. She believes uh, that people need to establish a well-balanced, healthy life, uh, and they can do that first by living a healthy lifestyle. She wants to help improve our overall well-being. She holds a master's degree in public health. She's a licensed Zumba instructor, and she's also the author of the e-book, Eating Healthy on the Go, a restaurant dining guide for the busy person on the move. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing her up to the mic uh, right now, live on the Charlotte Mitchell Radio Show. Hello, Kia Potts. Welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be on the show. Thank you so much. Um, oh, but yeah, I'm so <laughs> Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's jump in. And I'd love to always let listeners kind of hear the background story, what got you into, you know, really saying I want to have myself a healthy life and then I want to help other people. All right, well, it's it's been quite a journey. Ever since I can remember, I've, I was always interested in health and wellness. And... um when I got to college, I knew that was something I wanted to do. I wanted to major in community health education, and I did that. But along the way, you know, sometimes we get lost, and that's kind of what happened with my journey. I um, kind of fell off. I wasn't exercising. Um, uh-huh. I just had, like, made some bad, unhealthy choices that um, manifested in all areas of my life. And... Um, then one season, I went through a season of grief and loss. I lost 
my brother unexpectedly and I had to let go of a relationship that was unhealthy. And once mm. I began to do that, everything else just kind of kind of came back full circle and I started to live on purpose and God reminded me of what it is he, you know, wanted me to do. And um, everything just fell into place and I began to lose weight and then I began to walk in um, my purpose and being a health coach and pursuing that. And it's just been ongoing ever since. It's been amazing. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, and so it's, and, you know, you bring up the point and you illustrate the point of how all of this is all connected. Uh, you know, wow. the things that are going on in your life is all connected. I love uh, how in your mm-hmm. bio you say you're really, um, you know, you're really striving to help improve people's mental, physical, right. emotional, and spiritual health. Like yes. all of those are distinctly different, right? They are, but they all work together. And I really believe if if one is out of tact, then everything else will be um, affected. And, you know, health is being able to balance. That's the definition of them, to have a complete state of balance and well-being. And so if one is out of line, it's really hard to say that you are healthy. And Mm. I really try to help people strive to, you know, Get a balance on that. Um, Get a balance on that. And where do people, because oftentimes we definitely, the physical is, you know, something we can see. So we could we can right. make an assessment by looking, or we feel we can make an assessment by looking at someone and saying they are unhealthy. But um, right. there are the emotional and the mental and the spiritual parts that aren't visible. Do you feel like people kind of push those to the wayside? I feel like now there's more awareness about it, but people do tend to focus on, well, I want to um, get healthy. I want to lose weight. Speaking of physical weight, when there's really maybe some spiritual weight that needs to be, you know, um, lost, maybe there's some, you know, bitterness or unforgiveness that people are holding on to. That can affect you. That can cause you to hold on to stuff that you don't need to. Um, it can cause stress which can then turn into other health issues. Um, but you said something that was very important, that people can look at the physical and assume that as long as that is, if a person's a certain weight, for example, um, if they're, what, 120 pounds, then people can look at that and say, oh, that person's healthy. But mm-hmm. I challenge people, yeah, because you can be uh, an ideal weight, quote-unquote, but still have high cholesterol, high blood pressure. So we got to get away from just looks and focus on, you know, a holistic um, perspective. All right. Focus on the holistic perspective. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so if, where does someone start? Like, where does, Mm -hmm. is there, you know, is there a way for them to know, okay, I know I need to get healthy. Do they focus Mm -hmm. on one area over another or in a certain order? It all depends on each, each person's journey is um, unique and it's really individual. I know for me, um, where I needed, I had to start in a lot of areas. <laughs> so for some people, it could be multiple. <laughs> I'm just being real transparent. It could be multiple. Yes, areas, this is know? reality radio. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so for me, uh, for example, I had to start with the physical. Well, I was working out. Um, let me make that a point. But my eating habits were not um, as healthy. And so that came into factor. And then also um, spiritually, I was not at a place where I needed to be as far as my relationship with the Lord. So I had to work on those things. Um, It can be different. Some people may have the spiritual aspect down pat. You know, they go to church, they have a relationship, they're in ministry or what have you, but they're neglecting maybe the physical aspect or um, the mental and emotional part. So it just depends on where that person is. It could be one thing. It could be multiple things um, you could be working on. 
Okay, there is your answer. And I don't uh, want to neglect that you are an ordained evangelist, and so you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, uh, listeners, we want to let you know. We want to let you know that. So you, when you <laughs> when you hear God coming interwoven in throughout that, that's that's why you hear that. And and we agree. We agree. And so I love how on your Facebook page you give out tips. So you have some tips on Tuesday, some tips on Friday. So one tip I'm gonna just grab. I'm just go through a couple of the tips um, here that are on your Facebook page. So you have, um, and you posted this earlier today, take the mm-hmm. stairs as opposed to using the elevator. And we yes. all know to do this, but what? tell us how it helps. What does that help with? Well, one, it gets you conditioned to moving more. You know, in this society, we're so used to getting in a car. We're so used to having um, things at our convenience. And really taking the stairs really puts you in the mindset of moving and and being active physically. Um, A lot of times we think that, you know, we have to go to a gym to be physically active. No, but you can incorporate this in your day-to-day schedule as you're going to the grocery store, as you're going to a meeting, um, going to a conference, you know, as opposed to taking the escalator or the elevator. Taking the stairs can help increase your number of steps can help you burn calories and it's great for your derriere. So I'm a fan of it. I use the tip. <laughs> And I All right, and so if you're trying today. to work on your derriere, <laughs> there you there you go. She slid that in, but that's that's for free. We're not gonna charge y'all for that one. All right, another <laughs> tip. I p- <laughs> another tip I picked up. We just do a quick tips, listeners. Another tip I picked up from okay. your Facebook page. Um, you said always keep a packed gym bag in your car. Tell us about that. Okay, so a lot of times when I'm meeting with my clients. They'll say, oh, um, I have to go home real quick because I didn't pack my my gym bag. And it just labors the time and um, will be labors the time, and it really takes up more time. Whereas if you already have your gym bag packed, you as soon as you get off work, you can change, head straight to the gym or head straight to where you're going to work out and also eliminate that point from when you're getting, when you're at home and you have that time to change. You know, sometimes the hardest part is showing up. So it keeps you from staying at home and saying, well, you know, I'll just go another day. And that's the idea behind that. All right, so there you go. So if you're listening and you're saying, I want to, I want some more of those tips. How they, how can they connect with your, uh, you on the Facebook, on your Facebook page? Well, all my social medias are at I am Kia Potts, and you can just send me a message if you have a question or. Um, don't mind answering any questions about health, health and wellness, and just hit me up there um, at I am Kia Potts with two T's. Wonderful. <laughs> And I have tagged uh, Kia in Twitter and on Facebook, uh, so those are easy connection points, just like I tagged our last guest, Derek Simmons, uh, actor and director Derek Simmons. I tagged him as well. So if you're following me, which I know you are, those are the easiest ways to connect with our guests, uh, facebook.com slash charvette, twitter.com slash charvette. So easy, easy connection points right there. So uh, tips, I want to talk about some tips for um, on the go. So you you did an ebook about you know really how do you how do you do this thing on the go? Because a lot of people if they you know eating on the go, eating healthy on the go, because you know McDonald's and Bojangles and all you know all of these <laughs> oh, places Lord, oh. make it yeah. to eat make it easy to eat bad on the go. So yeah. talk about a few a few things about how you can how eating how you can eat healthy on the go. How can you do it? Well, it is attainable, let me just say that. And um, it it does take you being intentional, and um, it does take preparation. And now in my ebook, I do have some recommended restaurants listed out and some recommended meals. But if you don't have the ebook, you can easily um, go to a restaurant where you plan to have dinner and look on their site and kind of – Usually the restaurants will have on their site the menu, and they will have the calories and fat content and carbs and sodium and all of that listed. And you can kind of mentally prepare, okay, this is what I'm going to order. This is what I need to have in order to stay within my calorie limits, my carb limit, um, in order to get my protein intake and what have you. So, um, And this is what I usually do. Now, I realize a lot of people don't do that. That's why I wrote the book. (laughs) 
but it just <laughs> takes. Um, <laughs> it's just a matter of looking up the restaurant, knowing what, um, knowing what you're going to have ahead of time. So once you de- once you are there, you don't make a decision based on hunger or based on you know emotions, but it's an informed decision based on what is right for you in your diet. All right, so there you go. So an informed consumer is always a better consumer. And so what tips or what strategies do you have for those that are traveling and have some road trips and maybe they have the kids in the car and it's a long road trip and the kids want to stop and, you know, every time they see the golden arches, they want to stop at McDonald's or whatever. What tips do you have for that traveling family this summer? Well, with kids, I don't have kids on my own, but I do have a niece and a nephew, and snacks are always great for kids um, to have in between those times where you can stop and get something to eat. Um, usually with children, it is kind of harder because they see all that they know is what they see on commercial, and they connect that with food and, oh, it tastes well. Um, but I believe that certain restaurants like Chick-fil-A, Panera Bread, you can stop there, and there's certain things that they have that are healthier than the other um, typical fast food restaurants. Um, Chick-fil-A, Panera Bread, Qdoba, those are called fast casual restaurants, and they have usually healthier options. So it may be okay to stop there for the kids, uh, but some of the other traditional restaurants might not be a good idea. A lot of the foods is loaded with um, salt, sugar, and fat, and it can really affect <laughs> the road trip and the rest of the way. So I would say make sure you have snacks that are healthy, not high in sugar, and also um, look for the restaurants that are fast, casual, like Panera Bread, Chick-fil-A. All right. There you go. There you go. So what about some tips or strategies for that businesswoman or businessman who has to travel? So they find themselves, you know, maybe with their job or ministry mm-hmm. or what have you. They're in airports a lot. Mm-hmm. They're at hotels a lot. Any tips there? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, with the traveling, it's really easy to go a long t- period of time without eating and so it's best to load up on your protein when that happens. I like to keep protein bars, pack, or anything that I know that's going to be high in protein because it has a high satiety factor, meaning that um, you're not, it's going to sustain you longer and you're not going to get as hungry as quicker when you have the right amount of protein. So I would say keep, well, one, keep water bottle, two, protein bar or something that, has a high amount of protein. Um, If you don't like protein bars, the little packs of um, tuna or salmon, they're really great snack to pack. You can just open them up. The ones that are in the the bags, the aluminum bags, not the cans, open them up, get your spoon or fork, and it's really, really filling, and it's quick and easy. Quick and easy, protein, protein, protein. (laughs) All right. All right, and so uh, last, the last group I'm going to say for tips and strategies. So a lot of people getting ready to go back to college or go off to college, and, you know, they have, you hear that, you know, freshman 15, or you kind of mm-hmm. automatic because you're out eating whatever you want and you're not used to balance, you're not doing balance meals or whatever. College students mm-hmm. that may be listening or their parents, any tips for them? Yes, definitely. College students. Um, it's they get in the habit of studying and staying up late, and um, with that becomes you know oh I gotta have a snack I have to eat. I would say give yourself a cut off time, whether it's eight o'clock, seven o'clock, you know something that's realistic. But the staying up late and eating late that's really what causes um, the pounds to come on, and also trying to incorporate in your busy schedule some type of physical activity. Um, A lot of the colleges have, you know, the um, intramural sports, recreational sports, and gyms on campus, so it's really no excuse not to get up and work out. So um, a cutoff time for eating, of course, making those healthier choices when it comes to snacking, and then also 
incorporating physical activity in your day-to-day routine. All right. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Kia Pot just gave y'all some some tips and strategies. And so you're available actually uh, for individual coaching, group coaching. Uh, tell our listeners how they can find out more and connect with you, um, you know, for those services. Yes, yeah, so if you visit my website, um, IamKiaPotts.com, that's I-A-M-K-I-A-P-O-T-T-S.com, you can visit my site. It has all of my information listed and my services. You can um, fill out the contact form, and I'll follow up with you. I'm also offering free 30-minute coaching sessions. So if you would like to um, get some strategy and kind of see where you need to be, just fill out that form, let me know the best time to contact you, and I will follow up with you. All and right. also, Take her um, up. Yes. Also, my social media at I am Kia Pods. All right, connection, connection, connection. So Zumba, let's talk about Zumba. You are a licensed Zumba instructor. Now, mm-hmm. activity levels. Can anybody really, really do Zumba? <laughs> Everyone asks me that. Um, <laughs> I say, <laughs> I say yes. I, I. Say yes. Now, some people are intimidated by my class, um, but I say yes. You can do it. Just go at your own pace. And then once you come a couple of times, then you'll get your your you know you're a little bit more in shape. Then your body will will adjust. You'll get used to the movement. Um, but honestly, a lot of times people are intimidated because it involves dancing. And they get a little embarrassed, say, oh, I have two left feet, um, you know, don't make fun of me. But I always tell people it's just about having fun. I don't care if I go right, you go left. I don't care if I go forward, you go backward. It's just as long as you're moving and having fun is the main goal. All right. And for those that may be saying, I I don't know what Zumba is, I hear people talking about it, but what is it mm-hmm. act- actually? How do you describe it to that person? I would describe it as, well, it's originally a Latin-based type of dance fitness workout where um, you have movements that are, it's choreographed, but it's repeated. So the same movement for the verse will be repeated and the same movement for the chorus will be repeated or the bridge and what have you. And so it's easy to catch on and and, and get the movements. Um, but basically a Latin-based, uh, dance fitness program. However, um, I kind of make it my own with my classes. So I have classes that are just mainly gospel zumba, and um, you know some that's maybe um, a little pop with a little bit of Latin based in it. So it all depends on the instructor. Everyone is everyone's class is unique, but that's the gist of um, zumba. All right, and you're you're actually available. Like, if someone is having a women's conference, a symposium, or some type mm-hmm. of an event, you can actually because I've seen you live and in person at Chesterfield Town Center, <laughs> you know, in, yes. in the middle of the mall and in, in this in this huge event, doing a live Zumba um, instruction, mm-hmm. Zumba really class. And so you're available to mm-hmm. come out to events like that, right? I am. I'm available for festivals. Um, women's conferences, like you mentioned, um, health fairs. Um, I also do a lot of speaking engagements as well as the Zumba. So, um, yeah, I'm really available for all that. I've done a lot of uh, health, women's health conferences in the past or women's conferences in the past. So, yeah, I'm doing it all, and this fall is really picking up as well. All right, so get on her calendar now. <laughs> so we've talked about some eating tips. We talked about a little bit about um, some movement and exercise. And so I love that on your um, website you have a blog and you have five fun ways to manage stress. So, again, kind of this holistic approach of your health and your wellness. Wow. So five fun ways to manage stress. And so um, the first thing you say is embrace your inner kid. Embrace your inner kid. So we should go out and 
to jump rope and blow bubbles and run around the yard, all that? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, when you look at kids, they don't tend to hold on to a lot of stress, you know. They blow bubbles mm-hmm. and color and and all of those activities. Now, I'm not saying neglect your responsibilities, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's always good to <laughs> <laughs> but it's always good to kind of, you know, remind yourself to relax, throw some bubbles, color if you have to, jump rope, um, swing, whatever you need to do to ease your mind. Um, it is helpful. And all of these things I have done and I still do. And anyone who knows me, they know something. I'm trying to cool off or get calm and collected to see me blowing bubbles. And I actually have some in my car. <laughs> oh, so, <yes>. listen. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 walk and do what you preach, right? You you are you I are doing do, it. I do, I do. They know <laughs> here has a bubble. Just stay away. <laughs> Just stay away. I need a moment. Just I need a moment. Away. And yes. so the second uh, the second fun way you say to to manage stress is to laugh. Just to laugh. Yeah. Just laugh. Um they have they actually have classes. Um, I believe it's called Laughing Yoga. But yeah, just laugh. Get I out love, of here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm serious. You laugh, and it actually works. Number, I mean, it burns calories, and then it also increases your endorphins. So, um, but I try to do this by watching something, a funny movie, or going to the movies and trying to, you know, catch something that's recently out that I know it's funny. Um, or watching one of my favorite movies that I know is funny or a TV show or something that's going to cause me to laugh or being around some of my friends who are hilarious. Um, (laughs) So (laughs) that helps. It definitely does. That helps. And then the third, fourth, and fifth tips, uh, listeners, and again, you can go over to IamKiaPotts.com, check out her blog. Um, third one is to move, which we talked about. Fourth one is to explore. Fifth tip is to uh, is pamper party. Uh, so check out those uh, four, excuse me, five fun ways to manage stress. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence. And we want to know what continues to just motivate you. What continues to motivate me, um, believe it or not, are my clients. I see them. Oh, they, wow. I, when Yeah, like when I know I have people depend on me um, for advice, for tips, when they need my help with something, I have to make sure I'm on top of my game. I have to stay focused. I have to make sure I'm doing, like like you said, I practice what I preach and I do. I have to make sure I'm doing all the things I'm instructing them to do. I have to make sure that I'm knowledgeable about what I'm talking about and up to date with the latest um, news and information. And um, I have to make sure that, you know, I'm doing the best job I can do because someone else's journey is depending on me. Someone else's um, health status is depending on me. And so they really motivate me. Um, Some of my followers, you know, I'll post something and they'll say, thank you for posting that. It really encouraged me. And really that's what it is. And then also um, just reflecting back from where I was and where I am now, I don't want to be ever be in that place again. And so my past motivates me to press towards my future. Oh, my past motivates me to press toward my future. That's good, y'all. If y'all say that, give Kia Potts the credit on Facebook, Twitter, all the <laughs> Instagram. That that was a meme right there. Y'all should make a meme for that. Okay, I love I love that. So one more time, just for those that may have just just tuned in, you're like, wait a minute, how do I get in touch with her? How do I get in contact with her? Give us um your contact information and all of your social media information. Okay. Um. You can visit my website, IamKiaPotts.com, I-A-M-K-I-A-P-O-T-T-S.com. Email KP at IamKiaPotts.com. And all of my social media handles are at IamKiaPotts. 
All right. We made it nice and simple for you. Well, Kia, it has been great featuring you here on the show. Thank you for being a part of my Facebook community, hashtag Coaching with Vet. Hey, girl, hey, for Yay. all those community members <laughs> Woo, that are listening in. Hey, girl, hey. Uh, and if you are a female entrepreneur or a female who is wanting to be and looking to be an entrepreneur, you need to get over into um, the closed Facebook group. Just look for Coaching with Vet. Vet, that is my nickname. That's it. Coaching with Vet, or if you on social media, you'll you'll see uh, links to it. But join us over there. And so Kia Potts is a is a member of the community. So really Yay. glad to feature you. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by the show. Thank you for having me. This was fun. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, you are quite welcome. You are quite welcome. All right, listeners, that's going to be a wrap uh, for this edition of the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. As always, you want to check back with us next week where we are going to be bringing you more phenomenal guests and outstanding, uh, just outstanding guests as we did today. Certainly, if you missed any portion of the show, go to Charvette.com. We'll see you then. Bye. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you have been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Connect with her at Charvette.com. And until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. The Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Signing off. Record better audio anywhere with Motive Digital Microphones from Shure. Easy to use options like the MV88 plug directly into your phone or computer and include a free app. Create studio quality sound for podcasts, music, and videos. Visit Shure.com to learn more. Get ready for back to school with incredible offers at Sprint. From August 3rd through August 6th, switch to Sprint and receive a $75 service credit. If you switch two lines, you can receive $150 in service credits. Visit a Sprint store, Sprint.com, or 1-800-SPRINT-1 today. Offer coverage not available everywhere or for all phones, networks. Service credit available in select stores in the Northeast area. Limited time offer requires new line activation at point of sale. Limit one per account. No cash back. Service credit will appear in within three billing cycles. Restrictions apply.